Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. This one's a little bit different than our normal ones. It's not just what happens in our day. This one is our experience right after our little baby Maximus. You might hear his little noises in the background. Right after he was born. We bring Maximus home because the doctors say and the nurses say, you know, he's good to go home. So we take him home, we're thinking, yay, we're bringing our baby home, we're just gonna be a family now. The next morning he wasn't, you know, he was seemed really sleepy and out of it, and we just thought, oh, he's a good baby, he sleeps really well. Johnny had to leave in the morning to go to the wedding, and so my mom came over to help because we were less than 24 hours after getting home from the hospital from me having him. So my mom came over to help. I had kind of been struggling nursing in the hospital. They said, you know, oh, he's getting enough. He's fine, you know. They didn't really test to see if he was getting enough. They just said, oh, he's he's latched. And we didn't even really know what that meant. We're just like, yeah, yeah. he's feeding, you know. And there's a little bit of a mark in his diaper. So he's obviously peeing, so he's drinking enough. And yeah. they're like, yeah, that's what it means. My mom came over and I think it was less than an hour after my mom was there. I was like, okay, well he needs to eat now. I pick him up and I try and feed him and he is just kind of like, kind of a little bit floppy and like not really like waking up. And I'm like, oh mom, he's not really trying to eat. I'm like, but it's been a while, like he needs to eat. And my mom's like, well keep trying for a sec. And he just wouldn't, he just was like not even waking up. My mom said, well, we need to get something in him, so let's try and give him a bottle. We tried to give him a bottle and he wouldn't even, he wouldn't even do that. Like he was just kind of limp, kind of unresponsive. My mother gut told me I, we need to take him in like right now. So I told my mom that and she's like, okay, let's go. And so we put him in the car and we went straight to the ER. Went up to the desk and I said, I have my baby here. He's three days old. He's just not really responsive. Something's not right. And they like looked at him for like 15 seconds maybe and they were like, okay, let's get you back. And they were being like really like positive and stuff and I'm like, okay, you know, like I don't know what's going on. The second we got back in the room, there were like 15 doctors. Three of them were the life flight, like helicopter emergency, like the best doctors that they had at the hospital. And the reason they had that many is because they couldn't find a spot to put his IV. Like they tried to put it in his head and it wasn't working. And so they needed the very best doctor to do it because he was in that much danger. Like they, he needed it right then. He was so dehydrated. And this whole time I'm at a wedding. I'm like, our baby's healthy. I, I'm just gonna go shoot this wedding and I'll be back in a couple hours. And Terry calls me and says, you know, what's happening? That He's in the NICU and we don't know what's going on. And so I'm at a wedding and as a wedding photographer, you can't just leave the wedding. Like you can't just say, sorry, this is your big day, but I've got to go. Like, so I communicated with the bride and she was so cool about it. And she's like, we're gonna leave right now so that you can hurry and get some quick photos and go right now. So she left like an hour earlier than she was supposed to. So I got to speed in 180 miles an an hour to the hospital to find out what's wrong with my baby and the whole time Tessa is watching our newborn you know worked on frantically by 15 doctors so from my point of view while they're like poking him and he's just screaming in pain and here I am like I'm I'm in a lot of pain too and my mom is like holding it together for me she's just like being super strong and I'm just bawling cuz I just I feel like the worst mom ever because I'm like how could I not know that he wasn't getting enough milk? And uh, I was just like totally beating myself up and I had no idea what was going on. And so I'm thinking this is still like an ER trip. And then they say, he's getting admitted to the NICU. And I'm like, what? Like the NICU, that's like newborn intensive care. Like he's that bad, you know? <laughs> and sorry. Um, and Johnny's not there, which is like 10 times harder. They get him into a room and they were gonna have to take him up to primary children's because they didn't know if they had room at the hospital we were at, but luckily they, they had enough room for him and he had to be kind of on quarantine because he had left the hospital, even though he had only left like less than 24 hours before he had been out in the world. So he was in his own room and finally Johnny gets there and we just see our poor little baby boy. <laughs> He's just like totally covered with all these wires and, and they have his little face covered because he has really bad jaundice and oh man, it was the hardest thing. We're going to the NICU to see our sweet son. It was really 
hard day yesterday. Johnny was shooting a wedding and so I was just with my mom and I don't think I've ever cried so much, but I feel a lot better today and I'm just hopeful of him coming home really soon, so. He was in there for about a week. As a mom, it's like super hard because I'm like determined. I'm like, I am I want to nurse him. Breastfeeding's the best. Like, as I'm going back and forth between the NICU and our house, I'm thinking, man, I am like, I really don't feel good. And I'm thinking, I guess this is how it feels after having a baby, you know? And slowly I'm like getting worse and worse and I didn't know what was going on. It is almost two in the morning after the day that Tessa gave birth to our son Maximus. And Tessa was just here in the bathroom and she was sitting on the toilet and she passed out. She, right before she passed out, she said, Johnny, Johnny, I think I just almost passed out. So I came running into the bathroom and Right when I got there, her head dropped and I caught her chin and, and I was holding it up while I reached over and hit the nurse button. Four nurses came rushing in. They all carried her over to the bed with me and they checked her vital signs. Oh, my son. They checked her vital signs and she's doing good. She's okay. And she's in there breastfeeding our son right now. So scary times, but blessings at the same time. On top of like having her brand new baby in the NICU, and she just gave birth, she, so she's not sleeping because her baby's in the NICU. She's not sleeping. She's just staying next to him and just talking to him and loving him. She's not leaving his side really at all. Not, no sleep. Um, she had lost so much blood that she was literally dying. And so while her baby's in the NICU, our little Maximus is in the NICU, she is readmitted into the emergency room because our doctor sit, takes one look at her and says, you need a unit of blood at least right now. So they rush her to the emergency room, they give her a unit of blood, it didn't change her blood count at all. So they give her two more units of blood. She has three units of blood now and she finally starts to show color in her face. And the doctor was like, why didn't they give you blood? Honey, is this a rough week? The roughest I've ever, ever been through. Oh, you're amazing. Thanks. It was just the scariest thing ever. I was feeling like, you know, like it's my first time being a dad and I'm like losing my baby and I'm losing my wife. And that's how I felt. I was so scared and I felt so helpless. It was a scary situation. We would come and we would hold Maximus and love him and we still didn't really, you know, feel like Maximus had got to come home and, and be a part of our family yet. He was just like in this hospital, like sedated and passed out and exhausted. And While I was about to get my blood, they had to order it special because I have a really weird blood type. Um, so it took a lot longer than normal. They didn't have any in the hospital. While that was happening, the NICU calls and says, 
okay, Maximus is discharged, come get him. And we're like, wait, what? And they didn't even tell us. Yeah, like that they, they make me leave my wife in the emergency room and I'm wondering how she's gonna turn out. And they're like, you have to come get your baby out of the NICU right now. And I was like, whoa, like she, his mom's in the, in the emergency room. I can't bring a newborn into the emergency room to have him nurse. Like, can he just stay there for a little bit longer? And everything was just like getting piled upon us. And so apparently I had really low blood. So I've been feeling absolutely terrible and I looked like a ghost. And then a third one they're still giving me right now. And, um, so they decided they were going to admit me back into the hospital. And I, on the way up here, I was completely out of it. I couldn't even respond to what was going on. And Johnny came in and I couldn't even talk to him. And then the second I started feeding Max, because he got hungry, I just, like, every, I started feeling totally more awake and responsive and my everything just I just needed him <laughs> oh does he cure you <laughs> he's milk drunk right now <laughs> he just ate a lot <laughs> look at that face he's so handsome do you take care of mom do you make mom all better <laughs> Maximus, he rides the bus cause he loves all of us. Hey Maximus. scary place and it's been really kind of like a roller coaster because we we didn't know if Tess was gonna be here for a really long time the doctors were worried that they were gonna have to keep keeping her here we got really good news today she gets to go home and we're gonna be able to go home and just enjoy our new baby if you be my girl mm, 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 mm. <laughs> <laughs> It was a really tough time, but everything turned out amazing eventually. And now we we're home with the most beautiful baby boy, Maximus Jack. And Tessa's healthy, and I have my family back. And <laughs> it's just wonderful. And it's just been a dream ever since, just with 
being parents. It's the best thing in the world. And people that say you don't know pain until you have a kid because you can't like stand to see them suffer, they're so right. But again, blessings everywhere and we are now just a healthy, happy family. We made this video because we wanted to share with you the NICU experience. I documented it and um, I just thought it's you know something to remember because we don't want to just share the, the happy times with you. This is our vlog that we're going to share our life with every day and we want to share the tough times too. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please tap the subscribe button. Uh, it's right here on my face. Yeah, anyone that has been through a NICU experience, like comment below and let us know how your experience was. And we want to make it a community, so reach out to us because we want to be friends with you. We're not just here to produce videos. Yeah, we, we want you guys to be our friends and our family. So comment, we love you. See you tomorrow. Bye.